Hello friends, in this video I will repair this Logitech subwoofer. Let's begin. First of all, let's begin with the problem. The problem of this subwoofer is that when I uh, power on the subwoofer, the speaker gives a very big noise added to the music. First of all, I tested the power supply. And uh, the power supply is good. It's because it's very simple, it's just a transformer and a rectifier bridge. After that, I took uh, of this this is the board for this uh, model these two wires are the output for the subwoofer and these wires are the power supply because original wires were very short and uh, very big current I decided to use uh, two of my power supplies to supply this with plus minus uh, 15 volts and I put uh, current limiting 1 amp so I will not uh, ruin uh, anything on this board. As you can see, I uh, put this heat, this heat sink because uh, during the test, this uh, became very hot. So I don't have the schematic, but uh, this is very simple. This is the connector for the control pod. Here we have power on, power off, volume and uh, bus adjustment. These are the filters for the subwoofer and for the satellites. And uh, here we have this for uh, ICs. This one is TDA7296 and 96 and this one is uh, 7295. These are, as you can see, this yellow wire and this orange wires. This is the output for the satellites and uh, these two ICs are for the satellites. This middle IC are bridge connected and uh, it's a bridge connection for subwoofer. Now let's make some tests. So I connected the power supply and now let's check. It's plus 17 volts and minus 17 volts. Now, without uh, this control pod, this is on standby. I will connect. Uh, I uh, DIY this control pod because I didn't have the original one and uh, if you want I can make a video about this device please write a comment and I will describe this and I will uh, tell you how you can do this yourself now let's power this on when I power this on I connected a speaker here and now let's power on. 
I don't think that you hear, but uh, it's a no annoying noise. Now it's uh, now it's powered off, and let's measure the output voltage on output speaker. So there is no output voltage. Now let's power this on and now let's measure the output voltage. It's good. It's good. So at first sight these uh, two IC are not uh, damaged. But we can't be completely sure. Now let's make some tests. First of all, let's discuss a little about this bridge configuration. I am sure that you know the principle of bridge uh, connection, but simplified on uh, one output. We have a positive shape, non-inverted shape, and other output we have inverted shape of the signal and uh, that's why with uh, this bridge configuration we can obtain uh, much power than uh, from only one IC from this uh, same power supply this bridge uh, connection gives us uh, the four times more power than this uh, simple connection and now here it's the non-inverting amplifier and uh, this one is uh, inverting amplifier connection is very simple non uh, inverted amplifier gives the input signal on uh, on a pin 2 is the non inverting input and uh, gives us non inverting output but this uh, inverting ic enter input signal it's uh, use on uh, this pin it's inverting output and this inverting output it's voltage divider from uh, output of the non-inverting uh, amplifier so I made this uh, very simple schematic this is the non-inverting input and the non-inverting output these resistors have the same values this one with this one and this one with, with this one it's the voltage divide, divider so the out positive output of the non-inverting amplifier enters on the inverting amplifier of the second one now let's make some tests so i connected a speaker from ground to the positive output now let's power this on that's the input non-inverting input and this one is inverting input so uh, this uh, IC is good now let's test the other one now I move the, the wire to the output of the inverting output let's power this on This IC is also good. 
now let's move uh, the wires to the boat output now it's in bridge connection and uh, touch this non-inverting input so we know that uh, these two IC are good and the problem is somewhere before this IC here it's a capacitor and I took out this capacitor this capacitor is on the non-inverting input and when I took uh, off this capacitor the noise disappeared and uh, that it's telling us that the problem is not uh, after this uh, capacitor the problem is somewhere before this capacitor and after I connect uh, this back I uh, verify where this signal came from and these wires came from this IC these are uh, dual op amps with low noise 4565 this uh, is uh, on standby it's not powered on but uh, these uh, ICs have a power supply let's test plus 15 volts and minus 15 volts this is the schematic for this small op amps pin 2 pin 3 Usually, op amps input and output should be around uh, 0 millivolts. Now, pin 5. This one is good. Good. And 7. Now let's measure this one, pin 1, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Now let's measure third one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now let's measure the fourth one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I uh, presume 
that uh, one of these two I see it's not good because uh, we have a voltage uh, too big on input and output pins and I will replace uh, one by one I found equivalent uh, ICs on this board and I took down two pieces. I've replaced this uh, first IC and now let's see what happened. In one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. It seems the problem is not solved. Let's power this on. The noise is still hearing. Now let's replace this second IC. I've replaced the second one. I've tested the voltage and all the voltages are good now. Let's see what happens when we power on. It seems that the noise disappears and the problem is solved. Now let's make some music test. Satellites are good. It seems uh, everything is working perfect. 
now I just have to put everything back. Now I've put everything together, let's make some tests. This is the power. This is the volume. This is the bus. It seems that everything works perfect now. If you have any questions, please put it in a comment. See you in my next video. Bye.